Well, it's Tuesday. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's Tuesday. And normally on Tuesdays I do other things like that need to get done. Like sometimes I got got to talk on the phone to bill collectors or. Tuesday. Yep. Or sometimes I look for Connor's other things like doctor's appointments. And you buy me a birth certificate again, and I'll probably do that today or next Tuesday. Well, am I going to go to Grandma Kelly's if she doesn't cancel all Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're coming to get you. Today? Yes! Yeah, I've had, I've had things I should or could be doing. I don't know if I'm going to do them yet. But yeah, it's another day where I get up, got to do some stuff. Got to take him to his next babysitter and then rush to work. Got to change your clothes. Maybe go take a shower quick, maybe if you go to the park before your Aunt Taylor picks you up. Yep, it's important to have father-son time with the boy. Even though we were at the park almost every day last week. We head off. Crickets. No, things that, you know, the things that crawl around on your skin. Those. The bacteria. Yeah, they don't bite. And I just that. watch these shorts and you're all growing them already. Yeah, every time I take my pants down and I go potty, oh, I can't fix my undies or my pants. Can't fix your undies? Yeah, they're my feet. Oh, let me see these ones. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You want me to change them? Mm -hmm. You want different ones? Different versions of pants. Alright. My number one most hated fucking thing to do up here. I hate shaving. We should just stop shaving all together. I hate doing it so much. I guess that's kind of like the same mentality of saying I'm not going to wipe my ass anymore because I'm just going to take a shit anyway. Ah, damn. Okay, we're almost to the park. There's other things I could and should be doing, but... It's way too nice out. Summer doesn't last too long in Wisconsin. So I just like to be outside as much as I can. And I like spending time with my son a lot. And I like this park because this is where my dad used to, used to take me when I was a kid. A weird guy walking around, and people that know me know that I like. To, I cling. I still cling to things that I liked as a kid, and locations are one of them. And I, I like to remember everything that I used to do when I was here. My dad used to swing me on the swing. 
But yeah, we're gonna go play. And there he goes. Every time we get to the park, that's what he does. Just takes off. What? Well, hey kids, strap yourself. Connor's Aunt Taylor just came to get him. I'm not gonna be recording like everything. Just in case people don't want their, themselves on camera or whatnot. Um, so yeah, now I get to go to work again. Um, I know like before it sounded like I was just irritated about being a single parent, but if anything, I I I love it. And I I like spending a lot of time with my son. I like having a lot of alone father son father son time with him. Hey, that's a huge reason why I haven't really had a girlfriend. If I do have one, I almost I don't know, I feel like it's taking something away from my son if I'm paying attention to someone else and trying to manage all that. Not to mention, I haven't... It's harder for me to, like, get feelings for people. It seemed like it was really easy to fall in love when I was younger, and now it's... I don't know. Like, I just like doing the dad thing. I don't know, maybe it's just the, the point of my life that I'm in. I feel like I I like devoting my time to my kid and what me and him do. And not to mention it's just when I'm with someone too, it's like they don't like, they don't, most of the time they don't like to do the same stuff that me and my son like to do. And I got accustomed to that. And I, I don't know, I just, I guess, I don't like going out on dates anymore and shit like that. I just find it more irritating than anything. I hate going to bars, I hate stuff like that. I don't know, maybe I just haven't met the right person yet or whatever. And everyone always comes up to me and, you know, bitches and gripes too, like, well, you know, his mom should be paying child support, and, blah, 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 and you should be getting help from the state. Blah, blah. I, in my opinion, I'm very lucky to be in the situation I'm in because she didn't really like fight me for custody or anything. I mean, I I want my son to grow up knowing he had a father who wanted to devote all this time to him. And in the long run, I think his mom is gonna be depressed because 
So I get Connor on the weekends too. And right now she might think it's awesome and stuff. Like she, you know, she's got freedom. She can do what she wants. She's got her college or whatever. She takes him twice a week. Sometimes like Friday. In the long run, when Connor's all grown up and she doesn't have that time anymore, I she's going to be depressed about it. And that's when it's going to kill her. So I. I love this aspect of it because I'm not gonna have any regrets. I already, I was already young. I did a bunch of stupid shit. I got it all out of my system. You know, I got to have relationships and all that, and I got to be in love. And now I'm just doing the whole dad thing and making videos and just having fun with that. I really reverted back to being like a young kid again. Like I, I love playing video games. I. I, you know, I like toys yet. And making videos with all those special effects and shit, it, it's, it's, I wish I could have had this kind of stuff when I was a kid. Because I, I, it's the ultimate way to like kind of live out fantasies and like live in my imagination. And my son gets a kick out of it too and I love including him in with it. One of the other things I was going to talk about too is, uh, like some of you have probably seen my artwork already. And just going to work, I thought I'd bring it up. I hear so many, so often, uh, well, you know, you can you can do all this stuff, like, well, why are you working here? Why are you making bags for a living? And Well, I mean, my friend Carl got pissed off about people saying that, but I, I didn't really didn't think it was anything to get pissed off over. It's just, I explain to everybody, it's thanks to the internet, getting a job like that is so competitive nowadays and everybody's an artist. Shit, if, if you want to do the stuff I can do or that people that are better than me can do, just go and look on the fucking internet. The information is there for you to learn for free pretty much. So it's, it's definitely harder to get a job like that nowadays and to be honest, I tell people this too even though everyone thinks I'm nuts. I, I don't mind going to the factory to work. I, I, had, I just had 10 days off going back to work. I feel like work gives me a structure. And it, it gives me time to think when I'm there. I'm still doing what I'm supposed to be doing at work, but it, being at work gives me a lot of time to think about things. And I, I need to keep my student loans paid. That's a big thing. When you know, when I became a single parent, that was one of the most terrifying things for me was the student loan situation. Because you can't bankrupt them no matter what. They don't go away. You can stop paying them, you can ignore them, whatever. You do that shit, they come after you with the fucking with the force of God. Like seriously. Now, I didn't have the money to pay him for a while because I couldn't keep up with my rent at the old place I was living at. And they threatened to take my mom's house away because one of them was co-signed by her. And they, they cleared out all my bank accounts and shit and I had to do it. So that, that whole thing was a nightmare. And that's part of the reason I gotta keep this factory job too. There's been a lot of times too where I a lot of people going to school understand this, that I've had to make the decision of either keeping my kid fed or paying a fucking student loan off for the month. Most of the time my kid wins. I don't give a shit, you know, if this, these schools need their money or whatever. I don't feel like taxpayers will say it too, like, oh, you're just, you want a free ride. That's not it. I don't feel like I should have to pay these guys back either. It was a for-profit school. They are full of shit. Most of the stuff that I supposedly learned there, I could have learned on the internet for free. And I've been paying the last 10 years on it, and I'll be paying well into my 50s. I can't transfer the credits anywhere, and most people don't recognize their degrees anyways. So I feel like I got robbed. Let's put it this way, it's like the equivalent of buying a Hershey bar at the store. And you, you, you know, you're all happy, you're gonna get this candy, you unwrap it, you take a big old bite, you'll find out it's just a big log of shit. How bad would you want your money back after that? 
probably pretty fucking bad, right? Well, that's the same thing, only on a grander scale. But going back to the work thing, I don't mind working at the factory and being able to go home and the, the art stuff, it's like, if I was working for someone doing all the art and videos and stuff, I would have to listen to someone else and do what they wanted to. The only, the only downside to being able to have so much creative freedom in doing what I want is being at the factory close to 50 hours a week. It leaves me almost no time to do any of this shit. You get a very small window of time and during the summer I like to be outside with my son because winter I'm always cooped up inside. So usually I'll get more stuff done in the winter time, but... I've arrived at work. And it looks like I get to park way in the fucking middle of nowhere. Awesome. You know, like, a lot, a lot of times people will say too, like, um, well, yeah, you, you're already complaining you have no time. Where's the time for yourself? Where's Glenn time? But I, I like, I have Glenn time all the time with my son. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I really don't need time away from him. And if I want to do stuff by myself, he goes to bed. So I just do, you know, other stuff when he goes to bed. But yeah, I guess I should go into work now. But you guys, I'll see you guys in 12 hours. Yeah, I gotta work 12 hours today, which kind of blows, which is gonna be a lot harder for me because we had Connor's room to go through, which is like a week-long project by itself, and now I gotta be at work an extra two hours. I don't have to be, but they gave us the option, but I need the money, so I gotta stay here. But yeah, 12 hours, I'll see you guys later. Just like a time machine, you guys will instantaneously jump over those 12 hours to arrive at the next point in time so you can see the next part of this video. Wish it was that quick for me. Yeah, see you in 12 hours, again. All right, well, welcome back. It's three o'clock in the morning and I'm fucking tired. And I, the work's not done for me, is it? Well, the fun part is now I gotta go home and work on my son's room. Yeah, now comes the fun part. Going home and cleaning my son's room up. Something I've been putting off for probably about a month now. Well, I've been drawing and doing videos instead. That's the thing that sucks is that if I want to do the stuff I want to do, I have to sacrifice like other things that I should be doing. And now it's gonna, it, it's come back to bite me in the ass and that weren't, nobody was twisting my arm to work 12 hours as voluntary, so I need the money so I took it. But it also means it's gonna make things a lot fucking harder this week to get all the shit done. Ah! Well, I'm home, and we're gonna have a look around the place here to show you guys what has to get done. And as you can see, everything's just kind of a mess. Here's my organized clutter along with some of my son's toys on my table. Um, and the bathroom looks like shit. And I got stains in my sink. And on my shower from the crappy water we have in this house. Um, got like dust and shit collecting everywhere. And as you can see, there's my son's stuff all over the floor again. Which is one of the many rules that he always, well he's only got like two rules, so it's not really that many. But it's just one of the only rules that he has that he never follows, never puts his stuff back. So now I'm, it's my responsibility to do it. Um, okay, now for the main event to show you guys what is a huge deal. Here is my son's room. So right here it doesn't really look like much, but then we scroll down to this. 
It looks like a fucking catastrophe. Like a natural disaster happened in this fucking place. It's a nightmare. I Every time I come in his room, I just... I suffer shell shock. Like, I can't believe that him and... The people that watch my son in my house let it get this bad. Especially when I bitch to high heaven about it all the time. And normally... Normally, I I always would have to go through his room anyway, like once or twice a month, but doing the whole YouTube stuff, I kind of lost track of the normal schedule of it all, and so many people ask for artwork, so then I just end up doing that instead, and then this just gets forgotten about, and it's a fucking nightmare, because I guarantee there's probably bugs and shit running around his room underneath all these toys. Which is always what happens, even even if I do it on a regular schedule, because, you know, like, bugs love clutter and shit. That's just how it works, and he hates bugs, so I have to take care of it all. Here's the closet, which is what he's supposed to be sharing with me. And this is what he did to my closet. You can see everything's piled up. I can't even get to my clothes half the time. A turtle shirt. And I'm supposed to wear green tomorrow, so I'll, I guess I'll be wearing that, or... Let me see if I got my Gumby shirt in here. Oh, there's a Gumby shirt back there. I don't know if it fits my fat ass anymore, though I kind of put on some weight. Well, there's going to be a few major issues with having to do this. Some stuff's got to get thrown out. And if... I know parents will sympathize with what I gotta go through, cause kids gather just useless shit like crazy. McDonald's toys, you know, these little notebook things that you get in like these um variety packs of like crayons and stickers and shit you get for like a dollar at Walmart. There's tons of that accumulates. Most of it I don't even buy for him. He just comes home with it, and it just collects and collects and collects. And here. One of my biggest problems is going to be this. That's his trampoline that he uses to pile junk on. So if he doesn't have a place for it in his room, he just throws it on there. And a lot of this stuff he'll piece played with for a few hours and it gets thrown on there. He's never looked at any of this shit after that. And it keeps getting worse and worse. His room is almost like a fucking, an obese fat guy who just keeps eating and eating and eating until his stomach's out of fucking room. And all of a sudden he can't hold anymore in his gut and he starts puking and it just leaks all over the place. Like on the table, the floor, everywhere. And that's what Connor's room is doing. It's so full to the point where there's just no room and it's just puking into my living room. I thought I had one more Pepsi in here. Shit. And one of the worst things about this situation is my son has a photographic memory. Like he just, he remembers every little fucking thing he's got. Whether it's, you know, a McDonald's toy, uh, a pencil that he got like a couple months ago that he doesn't use. Or just a, a piece of printer paper he put, like, stickers on. If it's missing, he throws a huge-ass fit. And I'm very lucky if I can get... It, and it's, like, getting worse, too, like, the older he gets. So I, it's a miracle if I can get through any one of these room cleanings without him catching on and just going on and on and on about stupid shit he doesn't care about. And don't get me wrong, I, I know I, I bitch and complain, I, I love being a single parent, I love being a dad, I just, I just don't like the shit that goes with it sometimes. And not my son, just, the babysitter thing is a huge pain in the ass. Um, just having to come home and most of the time I don't have any control over what goes on in my house. Just like that and... Trying to lay down rules with him and stuff without being too much of an asshole towards my son just sucks because 
And so if I'm too nice, he gets away with murder. If I'm too much, if, I'm, if I get down on him too much, and he thinks I'm yelling at him and hating him and stuff. I guess that's what every parent's got to go through, though. Uh, I'm just assuming. <sighs> All right. Um. That's Tuesday for you. I'm not gonna weigh you down with what I'm about to do because it's gonna take me the rest of the night, and I'll be I'll be lucky if I can get to bed by at least five. And I still gotta go get my son tomorrow at around ten thirty, eleven. So it's leaving me a window of maybe a few hours to do all this shit. When normally I would just I would be making videos and stuff. But that's the crappy thing about being the whole you know the single parent thing and not having someone live with you. Although I do like being by myself most of the time. Because the only person that bitches is me. I don't have to listen to anyone else's bitching or anyone else's feelings. I'm rambling, okay? Let's just let's move on. See you tomorrow. Alright, sometimes I get a little carried away when I'm cleaning up my son's toys, and I get in the character. Don't judge me.